It's a bed in there. But it's very undeserving. Like micro I mean, found in the rainforest of Central and South America. Large mega bats. Their long noses and their pointy ears give them a fox like or a dog like um, appearance, which is where they get that nickname Flying Fox. Now I have another species of bat I want to show you that's hiding out behind this curtain. Here to where the teacher is and, and maybe get a peek. Thought about a tablespoon and then fly away. So the cow is not totally drained of blood. Ooh. And of course the cow doesn't turn into a vampire cow the next day. <laughs> the cow wakes up in the morning and probably never even noticed the vampire bat was there. So vampire bats are not oh, good. I don't want to show you all the bad room. I want to keep you guys over there. Oh, All right, so in this enclosure, we have a variety of mega bats. Listen, listen. Draw colors listen. and bats over here. We're here to where the teacher is and, and maybe get a peek. This little guy here is thought about a tablespoon and then fly away. So the cow is not totally drained of blood. Ooh. And of course, the cow Ooh. doesn't turn into a vampire cow the next uh -huh. day. The cow wakes up in the morning oh, and probably goodness. never even noticed the vampire bat was there. So vampire bats are not... Sea bats flying around your neighborhood in the summer months. Just stay calm and relax. They're not after you. Because all of the bats in Michigan are insect eaters. So they're probably after bugs that are flying around you like mosquitoes. This little guy here is responsible for giving most bats a bad reputation, but it's very undeserving. Like micro, I mean, found in the rainforest of Central and South America. Thought about a tablespoon and then fly away. So the cow is not totally drained of blood. Ooh. And of course, the cow Ooh. doesn't turn into a vampire cow the next uh -huh. day. The cow wakes up in the morning oh, and probably goodness. never even noticed the vampire bat was there. So vampire bats are not... This little guy here is... Step inside, and I'm going to point some of these animals out to you and tell you a little bit okay, more no about them. to danger. There is fight, which could mean biting or scratching, or flight, which means to fly away or run away. When bats are given the choice, they will always choose to take flight. So now the bats are all down at this end, but as I start coming closer, you see what starts to happen? Time, and I want to show you as many of the animals as we can. Now I'd not like to be like, where'd you go with those grapes? <laughs> I'll be back, molasses, don't worry. Those I usually come with snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Now you probably noticed this sloth has a really long tongue. Believe it or not, the sloth's closest relative is a anteater. So his tongue is not as quite as long as his cousin the anteater's tongue is, 
but he still has a pretty good sized tongue. <laughs> and do you see what he just reached out with? Those are his big two toes. He is a two toed sloth, so he only has two toes on his front legs. His feet are made like big hooks, and that's for grasping a hold of branches. Sloths usually hang below the branch. So we keep the lights off in here during the day so that our animals think it's night and they're a little more active. Now the first animal I want to talk to you about is this guy over here. He is not a bat. This guy up here is a two-toed sloth. Now sloths are found in the rainforest of Central and South America. And they live high up in the treetops or up in the canopy of the rainforest. I'm actually going to take a step inside and see